washes off fairly easily. So, um, what's going on here then? Well, Steve Bullock wants to close down five of Lewisham's libraries. Newcross Library is one of them. To make £60 million worth of cuts over the next three years. And uh, I don't think cutting libraries is a good way of doing that. So, um, which are the libraries? Which are the libraries that are under threat? Well, Newcross Library, Grove Park, Blackheath, Sydenham and Crofton Park. They're all well used. The only reason they picked on those five is that they haven't put a lot of investment into them over the last 20 years or so. So some of the buildings are not very good. There's rain coming into this one through the roof. And Crofton Park is under a fairly bad state upstairs. And of course lots of people use these libraries. My children go into the Crofton Park Library for books. I know a lot of children who call in here after school to do their homework. If they haven't got internet access at home, they can get it here free. And it's quite a long walk for someone to go down to Wavelengths Library, which is down in Deptford about a mile away. And for people that live way over on the border of Lewisham up that way, uh, this is the only library within easy walking distance. They've already closed down Telegraph Hill Library uh, about 15 years ago, which is just up at the top of the hill. But surely um, a lot of people would say that cuts are being made, the central government is going to cut the grant to the council, but what's the alternative? Well, when Bullock stood for mayor in uh, May, he said vote Labour to not have Tory cuts. So why isn't he unifying his council and his offices to oppose the national government's proposed cuts? They haven't actually announced the cuts yet. They just said that there will be cuts. I did a bit of research into how much people are paid at the town hall. And uh, there's about 520 people on the council payroll paid over £50,000 a year. Now, the government and all these people say we're all in it together. But if we're all in it together, how about the people who are on over 50000 just having their pay capped at 50000 for the next three years? That would say £6 million pounds a year for Lewisham. And then you wouldn't be making any redundancy, any people redundant. You'd just be asking these people at the top to live on £50,000 a year. Well, I think they ought to be able to manage that. I look for about a third of that. And um, it's interesting that the actual the cost of New Cross Library is approximately the same as the mayor's salary. Is it? Right. <laughs> it's approximately around about 90,000. Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> so if we didn't have a mayor, and of course I don't agree with having a directly elected mayor, because it means all the power is vested in one person instead of in the councillors, as happens in most parts. So Lewisham has this strange system whereby the mayor has all the power, and of course it's much easier for him to be lobbied by one of the big firms that wants to take over something in the council, so it ought to be run by the council, like road repairs, or school meals, or libraries. And in fact, we've just discovered that the firm that uh, runs Lewisham's parks and libraries Various things, it's either Glendale or Parkwood, depending on what it's running, it's the same firm. They already run a library in somewhere else in Britain. So maybe they're going to suggest that they could run Lucian's libraries. And that would be another service privatised, which all really is to be under democratic control. But that, what I hear is that the library that they run is uh, it's not really worthy of the name. No, I think it's just a book point or something. They don't call it a library, you're absolutely right. right. Um, and they're suggesting that for some parts of this borough. They wouldn't have a real library, they'd have an outreach service. Bellingham lost its library a long time ago. And if, you, if you call their outreach service a, a percentage of it to be proud of, or well, you don't know what a library ought to be. Excellent.
Uh, the council want to close it to save money, yeah. No, They're making, no, making no. a decision in about a month. I know. Sign the petition over there. Tell them what you think. They're going to close five libraries in total, you know. Total of five libraries, yeah. Exactly. And it's all to save a small amount of money. Apparently this library here costs about the same as the uh, the mayor's salary every year. It's, it's only about £90,000 to run this whole library. Say to the to the mayor and to the council. You got something you want to say to the to the mayor and to the council? We're gonna so just, just speak down to the camera and tell them what you think about the library closure. Uh, please, don't close down the library, please. Yeah, please. Right. I mean, do, do you know that people use the library? Do you know? Do you know people? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. You use the library, do you? Yeah. 